All right, now we're going to talk about safely handling your specimen. And you want to handle your specimen safely for yourself and also for your animal. You do not want a little baby lizard like this to drop from this height. So you have to hold him securely without squeezing him too tight. Now this is a friendly animal and he's not trying to bite us. But if you have a bigger animal or if you've got a new small animal that you're not comfortable with, it's definitely a good idea to get a set of heavy duty welding gloves or you can get special reptile handling gloves. This is just a heavy duty leather work glove and we're also going to be careful because he could probably still bite through this. So what we want to do is we're going to get our monitor and we're going to get him by the base of his tail and then we're going to come up behind his neck and try and get in front of his legs. We don't want to let him scratch us. So we're holding his legs so he can't scratch us and we're holding the base of his tail. Now he's comfortable because we're supporting his legs. We're not just holding the middle of his body and that'll make him spin all over the place and we're not just holding his tail which will make him run all over the place. So we're trying to hold, have him be as comfortable as possible and that makes him less likely to want to turn around and bite us. And this is an aggressive animal. If she did have a chance she would try and bite us if we made her upset.